The topic of this morning's talk is Is the Quran God's word? Many people have a misconception that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the founder of the religion of Islam. In fact, Islam is in existence since man first set foot on the earth. God Almighty has sent several revelations and messengers to this earth. All the previous prophets sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were meant only for their people and their nation. And the complete message was meant for a particular time period. That's the reason that the miracle they performed, like the parting of the sea, like raising the dead to alive, convinced the people of that time, but cannot be examined and verified by us today. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger of God Almighty, sent to the whole of humanity. And his message is meant Till eternity. The Quran mentions in Surah Al Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 110. Wama arsal naka illa rahmatal ila alameen. That we have sent not thee, but as a mercy to the whole humankind, as a mercy to all the worlds. Since Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger and his message was everlasting that's the reason the miracle given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should also be everlasting and examinable by us at all the times though Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him performed several miracles which are mentioned in the hadith that is the traditions he never emphasized them. Though we Muslims believe in all these miracles, we only boast of the ultimate miracle given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is the Holy Quran. Al Quran is the miracle of all times. It proved itself to be a miracle 1400 years ago. It can be reconfirmed today and forever. In short, it's the miracle of miracles. Probably <clears throat> the only point common amongst the people, whether they be Muslims or non-Muslims, is <clears throat> that the Quran was recited the first time by a man born in the city of Mecca in Arabia. In the sixth century by the name Muhammad may peace be upon him regarding the source of the Holy Quran there can be basically three different assumptions the first is that the Holy Quran its author is Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him himself consciously subconsciously or unconsciously the second assumption that can be is that prophet muhammad may peace be upon him he obtained it from other human sources or from other religious scriptures and the third is that the holy quran does not have a human author but it is verbatim the word or the revelation of god almighty let us examine today all the three basic assumptions. The first being that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the author himself, consciously, subconsciously, or unconsciously. It is highly abnormal to challenge the testimony of a person who disclaims the responsibility of any great work 
whether it be literally, whether it be scientific or otherwise. But this is exactly what the Orientalists do who doubt the origin of the Quran when they say that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the author. The Prophet never ever claimed that he was the author of the Quran. In fact, he always said that it was a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To think otherwise is illogical and would mean that he was telling a lie, God forbid. History tells us that never has the Prophet been ever reported of telling a lie till prophethood. That is till the age of 40. And all the people acclaimed him as a person who was honest, who was noble, who was chaste. No wonder they gave him the title Al Amin, the trustworthy. Friends and foes alike. Even those people who said that he was a liar, God forbid, after he claimed prophethood, even then they kept their valuables with him for safekeeping. Then why should an honest person lie and say that the Quran is the word of God and that he was a prophet? Let's examine the claims made by these Orientalists. Some say that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, he attributed the Quran and said he was a prophet for material gains, for worldly benefits. I do agree. There are several people who falsely claim to be prophets, saints and preachers for wealth. And they acquire riches and lead a luxurious life. We have several throughout the world, especially in our country, India. Prophet Muhammad was financially better off before than after prophethood. He had married a rich businesswoman by the name of Khatija. May Allah be pleased with her at the age of 25, 15 years before prophethood and his life after he claimed that he was a prophet was unenviable 